The Sitemap tab allows a clear view of all of the floor plans of the project. The information displayed will depend on the amount of information added in the Envision project file. Your user access rights will determine the views you see and the elements you can control. The screen is split into three sections. The left hand section is divided in two. The top half displays the plan you are viewing. We are currently viewing the DALI level. By clicking on the ground floor level, notice the plan display has now changed. Expanding the level displays the list of all areas. The bottom half shows the list of bookmarks created for the plan. These may have been created in Envision Project, but within Envision Manager, a user can have the ability to create their own bookmarks. The center section shows the main plan view, based on the plan or area chosen. Information on fittings, devices and areas can be viewed. Also, status information is shown, for example, if a device is offline. The right hand section shows the control panel which contains various expandable options dependent on the view or specific area selected. On the screen we are selecting the DALI level and the boardroom area. Notice the options have changed allowing us to view or edit presets and also directly adjust channels in the area. The plan control menu allows you to remove certain features from the plan view. We are now going to focus on the main plan view. Looking at the screen you can see that we have three options in the top right hand corner. The pointer tool, the zoom tool and the mini map. Firstly the pointer tool which is the default. You can hover over an area to allow adjustment of the preset and also to fade up and down if it is a dimmable channel. Notice how individual channels can also be controlled directly within an area. Hovering over a device gives clear device details, including a clear description and also a picture for easy recognition on site. Hovering directly over an individual light fitting shows key information like lamp life. The second option is the zoom tool. Selecting this changes the screen icon and using your left and right mouse buttons or your mouse wheel allows zooming in and out of the plan. You can also hold down the left mouse button and mark an area. Letting go of the mouse will then zoom directly into this region. The third option is the minimap. 
This displays a mini map in the bottom right view of the plan window. Moving around the square takes you to that part of the plan. The mini map can be hidden again by clicking in the bottom right of the screen. Once an important view is located, it can then be stored as a bookmark. Clicking Add from the bookmark menu and naming your bookmark means it is saved to that plan. Notice then how easy it is to flick between bookmarked views. Now we will review the control panel section on the right of our screen. The main boardroom on the ground level has been selected. Selecting a different preset via a click will allow you to change the current preset. Also, if you have the rights, then it is possible to also edit the presets for the area. In the Edit menu, it is important to be aware that by default, adjusting the channels will not be directly affecting the actual lights unless the Send Level checkbox is ticked. The Link Levels checkbox ties the sliders together when they are moved. Once the preset is updated, we can test it directly from the list. In this example, we have adjusted preset 5. Notice the change on the plan view. In the channels menu, we are directly adjusting the channel light level on site. It can also be done by selecting the channel on the plan view by double clicking on it. This in turn activates a slider tool which you can then move to adjust the level of that channel. If an area is selected with a sensor then you will also find extra control options. In the waiting area, we are also able to adjust the sensor timeout and the calibration settings on the sensor that has been placed in that area. Finally, in the site map, we will look at adjustments of RGB lighting directly on the screen. On our DALI level, we have some DMX lighting. By selecting the fitting on the plan, I have access to a color palette, which allows me to produce specific colors. In reality, it is likely that you will have specific effects stored as presets, but this is a very clever feature. That concludes the overview of the Sitemap tab in the Envision Manager client.